another busy morning. Today, I loaded up the car to bring a bunch of stuff to auction. I'm gonna start my day here in Westminster, work my way over to Hanover, and then drop my stuff off and call it a day. All right, well, the first thing that strikes me is these hobbyist pieces that are kind of knockoffs of Holt Howard stuff. 14 is probably close to what I'd charge for that. And it's a little too high for me to do anything with it. But of course, I also noticed this Christ bank. This is really spectacular. Uh, 22 is about what I would get for this after fees. Otherwise, I would definitely pick this up and it's in really good condition. I feel like normally when I see these, the paint's all scratched up. And those are candles, so I don't want to have anything to do with that. The little music box is cute, but this booth is usually right on point with retail prices. Okay, so this is something I would normally not pick up, but out of the corner of my eye, I spotted it. This vase is absolutely spectacular. Um, at $54, I don't <laughs> think uh, I could do anything with it other than keep it and I don't need it. So I'm gonna put it back, but I've never seen something quite like this. And of course I noticed these uh, squirrel family $14 is pretty close to retail on that. Um, I used, I found a bunch of these at Mother Tucker's once in like every color almost of the rainbow. So exciting. So the brown is a little bit underwhelming for me. Oh my gosh, I love these uh, pajama bags. $18. Oh wow, she's really spectacular. It's in really good condition. I feel like I could actually make some money off of this. I think my last one sold for um, $54, and that was including sh uh, US shipping, of course, and fees. Yeah, she's pretty spectacular. I think she needs a good home. I'm gonna open her up just to make sure. I couldn't help but notice this adorable little bone china lamb. Not bone china, it's porcelain, but still very adorable. Four dollars. It's pretty cheap. Wonder if I'd lose it throughout the day. Hmm. Oh, this towel was here last time I was here. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> it's really strange. Can you imagine like a like a backsplash wall of all that tile? Spotted a Fire King mug here, eight dollars. These usually sell pretty well for me. Um, I am kind of hesitant to pick it up for that price as I've had them a bunch recently. The ones that I really like in this style are the orange like fading to like the marigold tone ones. I'm not a big fan of the white. Wait a minute. Um, pear? What's wrong with them? They both look in really good condition. $14 a pop. Now, <clears throat> oh, I knocked my camera by accident. The reindeer is definitely not something I see every day. I would definitely have regret if I left these here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. What is this kitchen towel? Joanna. Kitchen towel with Lady and Baker. Interesting. She is pretty great. I'm weirdly not a big fan of uh, him. Jadeite plates. This booth has uh, all the fun for mica tables, although they're all in like perfect condition. It seems like they've, this one at least has been redone. This is not original. Let me fold that up better. All right, I'm holding my breath as I walk over to my favorite booth here. Oh, there's someone in there. 
The mushroom creamer is kind of fun. Or sugar bowl. I don't know why I said creamer. I guess I was looking for the creamer as I was uh, saying sugar bowl. Whoa, what's that? I think this is coal. Is it coal? It's kind of fun. It's an unusual size. I feel like normally I just see them smaller than that. Of course, I'm a big fan of the funny poodle postcard. <laughs> on stone. That's fun too. So this is a little unexpected. Hold Howard spinning cat ashtray with squeaker that works. $65. Is there a discount? Hmm. No, no discount. Man, I can't remember what the last one I sold was for. I know it was a lot. Uh, I think I'm gonna go into my listings and look at it. Man, that is really spectacular. It's hard to find that. All right, so to be honest, I could make a couple bucks off of it when all is said and done, but it wouldn't be enough to justify fronting $69 essentially after tax. Um, as much as I'm tempted, I'm gonna have to walk away. I, I like this list for like 120 to 150 dollars, but they really only sell for like I want to say 89 bucks, um, maybe a, a little less, and then you have to add fees. So it's just not enough to justify making uh, 10 dollars there. And they got the pig zone chain. It's got crack though. Okay, big fan of this little poodle planter. That is adorable. $12, that's a good price. I've had that one before though, not that long ago, a couple times, so I'm gonna leave it there. What's going on with this uh, funny dog? It's a napkin holder too. 22, even with 40% off. I think that's more than I'd like to pay. Actually it is, cause yeah, no, not for me. Moving on. And of course this cute little Winnie the Pooh Japan ceramic. It's $17, so let's say 11. Uh, I've had this one a couple times, so I think I'm gonna put it back there. This is a really fun set too. $19 though. It's a little too close for me. It's definitely a harder to find set. It's just I've had it before and it did take a while for me to sell. I was surprised by it because I thought it would go quicker since it is kind of rare. And I mean, even this one, the paint's in like perfect condition. And I really like this polka dot creamer. Unfortunately, it's got a little too much wear for me. Uh, if it was just a little weathered, I think it might add to its charm, but I think that crazing's a little too deep, even for $7, and the little paint loss on the polka dot there. So this girl has caught my eye, unfortunately. Uh, I got a little too slap happy there. She's 50 bucks, I can't do anything with that. I've never seen one with a stroller, like a carriage like that. I usually just see the, uh, the ones on the bicycle. That is so cute. Fine Japan. 15, or in our co, excuse me. That's a really good price for this. Uh, man, I really wish it had the bride. If it was the full set, I would definitely pick this up because the set sells for a lot of money. I think the last one I sold complete was like $149 or something crazy like that. Hmm. It was in perfect condition. Man, I feel like I'm supposed to get this for 15, but I did have the groom separately before. Uh, it sold for decent money, but it took a while. So I'm getting ready to check out. I'm definitely gonna get this girl because I mean, she's fabulous and she's in perfect condition, which is really hard. Um, normally when I do see these, they're kind of used up, which is a really nasty thought now I think about it. For some reason, I'm kind of second guessing myself on these deer. I'm 
gonna do a little bit of math on. Oh, you know what? It's chipped. Dang. I'm really glad I double looked. It pains me, but I think I'm gonna put these back. I don't wanna spend that much with a uh, chip on it. So, so far I've only spent $19. Uh, it really upset me to put those reindeer planters back, honestly, but I'm, I'm glad I noticed the chip now instead of later. So I'm really trying to keep my, my spending down to a minimum today. Like I said, this isn't my only source of income, so it's like great if you make sales, but you also have to front your own money to buy stuff and, you know, girls got bills. So, all right, I'm off to yesteryear.